Hello, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, here to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the cold footings of my deck. Just wanted to say thank you to all my supporters, old and new. I wouldn't be where I am without you. You are my Christmas gift this year. So thank you for everything. And I just wanted to say a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. This may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. Okay, so only a tiny bit may resonate or all of it may resonate or none of it may resonate. Okay, so just take that into consideration. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. <laughs> Interesting. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Okay, so the basis of your reading is the Four of Swords. That's the death of an idea, okay? The death of a thought, all right? It's connected to the moon, and it's also connected to somebody from your past. You know, I think for you guys to obtain happiness, you need to let go of something in the past. That's all there is to it. Here's the happiness. This is the death of the idea, and this is something from the past. That's all there is to it. It feels like there's some something going on you know, behind the scenes that's trying to push you to let go, okay? It's trying to push you to let go of something that no longer serves you. I mean, it's causing you some um, depression, and it's time for you to reevaluate this thought. It's time for you to reevaluate this notion, you know, that you've been carrying around with you. You know, I think you've put a lot into it, into love, into loving somebody. And the time is now. It's it's the time is now to free yourself from this toxic uh, idea, you know. It hasn't served you. And I feel like you're just having a really, really hard time letting it go. It's not serving you. It's time to take action, all right? It is. Knight of Wands, it's time to take action towards finding true love. You know, you've put in a lot of effort and a lot of time into something. And, you know, it feels like it's just, it, it hasn't come to fruition because, you know, it was an illusion when we have the moon. This is the moon card. When, we, when you know, we have the moon card in a reading, there it was an illusion. It was basically an illusion the whole time, all right? You know, it's also some form of destiny, okay? This happened for a reason. Everything that has happened has brought you to this point has to teach you a lesson. There's something karmic here, okay, because we have karma. There was a lesson that needed to be learned, and you guys have been resisting it this whole time. You've been resisting learning this lesson. It's absolutely time to start a new journey, but you're still, 
you know, you're still scared. You're still not taking that risk. You're not taking that leap. And the fact of the matter is that it's time to be honest with yourself, okay? We have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is reversed. You know what you need to do, but I feel like there, this, this mentally restless energy is consuming you because of the bond that you feel that you have with somebody. But I have to tell you, when the devil comes out in a reading, it's toxic, it's karma, and it's false. Because the devil brings in things that are false. All right? And when the devil comes out, it says you have to free yourself. You can. You have the power to free yourself from this situation to break the chain but you're just not doing it and i see that you're not doing it because you're not taking that leap of faith you're not doing what you need to do because you you know you you feel like you know you're in love with whatever this is it could could be a job could be who knows a situation an idea you're in love with this idea whatever's going on for you that was an illusion but you just can't let it go it's like an addiction somebody is obsessed and ab addicted to this situation it's almost like addicted to the drama of it um you know but i have to tell you that there's there's somebody or something else you know you have to you will live with the consequences of your decision when the lover's card comes out that's what it says be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision a separation is needed. This five of swords is a separation, but you're not doing it. It's here in reverse because you're resisting this separation. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's somebody else or uh, something else that wants to come in, that wants to um, fulfill your wishes, you know, but you aren't letting it. You're blocking it from happening by not taking action. So I think at the end of this year, you know, the last year of December is, is about rest. It's about recuperation. It's about reevaluation. I mean, that's what this the basis of your reading is. It's time to reevaluate your dreams and where you're going to get your love from. It's time to reevaluate your relationship. You know, it is. And I mean, a relationship that isn't working out if your relationship is working out then then everything is good this probably doesn't apply to you but if it isn't working out I see that a reevaluation is needed because there's an illusion with somebody from your past that is toxic it was just karma okay but you have this you know I'm gonna fight for it till the death thought which is causing you a mentally restless energy and this knight of swords it's, it's time to own up to the truth okay because this is reversed and you're just not you're you're just like you know i can't let go i'm not gonna let go of this person from the past where the fact of the matter is you need to because it was fake it was fake it was a fake illusion of some sort. It, you know, I'm sorry. That's what comes up here in the cards. And I know that many of you do not want to hear that. I can see the resistance. And it's been going on for the whole year, pretty much. You know, there's been resistance from you Libras that don't want to let go of something that no longer serves you. You're holding on for by a string for dear life. And, you know, it's affecting your happiness. The fact of the matter is, is it's time to take action. It is. It is absolutely time to take action. Act now. Think later. Have confidence. Where's your self-respect? Okay, because this is self-respect. And courage. And confidence. Okay? That's what's going to bring you happiness. When you, when you really focus on your future, don't focus on the past. Focus on the future. Free yourself from this fake situation so that new love can come in. I see that, you know, you could have an unexpected choice in love. But right now, there's consequences for your actions because it feels like you just, you don't want to separate for, from this uh, situation that you are so bound to, you know. And I have to tell you that when the devil comes out, it is karma and it is not true. Okay, so whatever's coming through your head while you're watching this, you know, wondering what should I do? It's karma. It's the devil. They're bringing in, it's bringing in things that are untrue to keep you tied there. Karma brings what? Lessons. Karma brings lessons. Okay, time to reevaluate.
It is absolutely time to reevaluate your future in love. My cat is looking at me like, are you crazy? You're not letting me in. It's snowing like mad. I'm going to have to go let him in, but I just want to lay out these cards. <laughs> He's probably listening to the reading reading because he's like looks at, he's looking at me like he's gonna attack me. Like that's probably how you guys are feeling because you know, you don't want to hear this. I know you don't want to hear it, but it is what it is. Now that you've had a chance to look at the cards, where's the compassion for yourself? Where is your integrity? Okay, where's your integrity? Something is not moving forward. It's not. There's not, it's not love like you thought it was. It's not, it's causing sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. You know, your, your energy is down. You could be feeling ill. You know, it's not serving you. It's time to get your life back on track. It is. It's time to take the lead in your life, in your journey. It is. It's time to love yourself again. It's time to bring your vibration back up. And you do that by owning it, by, by taking a stand. By taking the lead of your life. You know, and that is going to take patience, it's going to take perseverance, it's going to take strength. And right now it feels like you just don't have the strength to do that. It's all inside of you. You do have the strength, that's the thing. Is you feel like you don't have the strength, but you do. It's, it's a mental condition here. You do. It is a mental condition. You have the strength to get your life back on track, to bring the structure back. To honor yourself, to love yourself, to bring your vibration up so that you can give your love to others. Right now, you can't because of this restless, this mentally restless energy that you're carrying around. You know, you're not moving forward in any positive direction by being stuck to this devil situation. This toxic, untrue, fake, karmic situation. It's not serving you. It's time to treat yourself with compassion. And you're not. So it is absolutely time. That's why this Four of Swords is the basis of your reading. Because it's time for you to reevaluate. It is. It's the death of an idea. Okay? It's time for you to refocus on your future. Heal. Really heal. Let go of that old thought, that old idea, that old whatever it is that is holding you back from finding this love that you seek. It's time to recuperate and rest. That's what the end of this month, this end of this month, the end of this year is about. Really figuring out what it is you're going to do next year. And I know that's what it is for most people anyway. You know, they're thinking about the new year. But this is prominent for your reading with this being the basis of your reading. It feels like you could be feeling ill mentally, physically. There's a lot of restless energy here. I'm, you're mentally restless right now. And it is really time to work on you. And get your life back on track. Bring the structure back. That makes sense, doesn't it? Unrequited love. You know, I can't, I can't make this shit up. 
that's what, there's not not you're not moving forward with this situation. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's not. Oh my gosh. Love yourself first. Oh, please, please. Thank you, God, angels, spirits, and universe. <sighs> Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. When you love yourself first and have self-respect and integrity for yourself, everything will turn around. Isn't it time for you to be loved? I think it is. Truly. Truly. Should you start this process now? Loving yourself first. Letting go of this toxic situation that was just karma. I mean, if you start now. Right now. By summer, perhaps your new love will come in. But you have to separate first. You have to separate from this situation. And at the end of this year, into next year, that's what you need to do. You need to separate and take all the time you need to separate. Really separate. Cut the cord with this karmic situation. So anyway, this is what I have for you, Libra. It's a time of recuperation. It's a time of rest. It's a time of healing. At the end of this. In solitude. Okay? I just need to be alone. To get through this kind of energy. You may not feel like talking to anybody. And maybe that's just what you need. To heal. It This last week of December. Is the beginning of your healing process letting go of that old idea talk to you later